Hello, my name is Kevin Danikowski, and this episode is on the intro to development and Freud. Now, development begins with two essential questions. First, are we just development of nature or nurture? And second, is the development a continual process or a set of different developmental milestones, a.k.a. the discontinuity versus continuity question? Research states both nature and nurture are involved. Probably not a big surprise. However, the continuity versus discontinuity problem is largely dependent on how you view the problem. The developmental theories we will examine largely go over the easier discontinuity category of thought with developmental milestones. The exception is, though, behaviorism. Let's begin with Freud's stages. Freud's evidence and theories are largely based on his clinical experiences as a neurologist, but acting much like a psychiatrist. And just in case you didn't know, or didn't remember, a psychiatrist has a medical degree and can prescribe medicine, whereas a psychologist usually has a PhD and has been better trained in psychological tests and measures. Now, Freud's psychosexual theory of development runs through stages oral, anal, phallic, latent, and genital, which we're going to discuss in order. I've always wondered whether these stages were really just a result of some really intelligent man who just had way too much time on his hands to think about sex, but who knows? Each stage has a fixation, the result of a failure to move to the next stage due to a neurosis. First is the oral stage, which goes up until about age one. It involves fascination with oral exploration, such as teething and breastfeeding. Fixation at the oral stage may result in dependency, immaturity, or mouthing activities, which usually end up being smoking for MCAT-related questions. Next, the anal stage is fascination with bowel and bladder habits, lasting until about age three. Fixation at this stage may result in anal retentive or anal expulsive personalities of cleanliness for retentive and disorganized for expulsive. As bad as it sounds, think anal expulsive as explosive and then relate that to dirtiness and I think you know what I'm hinting at. At about age three and up until about age six, the child enters the phallic stage, where the fascination is with the genitals, and it leads to the Oedipus and Electra complex. The Oedipus complex involves desires to have relations with the opposite sex parent and thus competition with the same sex parent. Jung also coined the Electra complex, which is just the Oedipus complex, but in women. These different complexes gave rise to castration anxiety for boys and penis envy for girls. Horni also added womb envy for boys, so make note of that. I mean, I'd say it's pretty true that most girls want a penis and most guys want kids, but I don't think it was in the same way that Freud and Horni intended it to be. Now, about age six and up until puberty, the child enters the latency stage during which time the libido is sublimated or suppressed. Fixation at this stage, the latent stage, may result in sexual dysfunction, but not as definitive as the genital stage, which brings us to the final and fifth stage, the genital stage of psychosexual development, which is from puberty onwards. Fixation at this stage results in impotence and poor relationships. Keep in mind the mnemonic from the mnemonic episode for this, and with that, that's the end of this episode.